What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well today. It's March 11th of 2022, and in this video, we're going to talk about the death yesterday of Odalis Perez, who was a pitcher in the Major League Baseball for 11 seasons. In fact, three of the four teams he played for were the last three franchises to win a World Series, the Nationals in 19, the Dodgers in 20, and the Braves in 21. We're going to talk a lot about how this is connected to other major events in baseball. Odalis died at his home in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Now, back in 2019, we had a very strange story involving another major player from Dominican Republic, David Ortiz, who was shot back on June 9th of 2019. Now, my video on the numerology of this story is linked below, and in that video I talked about how there was definitely something going on with his shooting and how it was probably fake. And since then, the official narrative has been officially debunked, so um, obviously we're onto something there. But what's so significant about this is that this year, 2022, David Ortiz is the only player being inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Usually there's at least a small handful of players inducted every year, but Ortiz is the only one this year. And certainly this death of Odalis Perez in Santo Domingo, which is where Ortiz was born and also shot in 2019, is all connected. Also, yesterday, March 10th, which was the same day that Perez died, the 2021 to 2022 Major League Baseball lockout ended. And we're told now that they will indeed have a full 162 game season. So this video will explore the numerology of how all of these events are connected to one another. And we begin with Odalis Perez, whose full name sums to 77 in the standard reduction or Pythagorean method. This cipher uses the alphabetic order and reduces each double digit number to a single digit prior to adding it to the equation. So his name sums to 77, just like the year he was born, 77. And in Jewish or Latin gematria, his name sums to 930. And notice how he died 93 days before his next birthday. 93, a really significant number connected to the sun. And as we go on in this video, we'll explain how this year's Major League Baseball lockout, as well as the death of Perez, is all connected to the great total solar eclipse code. Now, the date of Perez's death yesterday had primary numerology of 55, and we get this by adding all of the individual numbers in the date, 3 plus 10 plus 20 plus 22. This is the ordinal value of Caribbean, where Santo Domingo is located, and we'll see how the gematria of this word ties in as we go along, too. Perez passed away allegedly at the age of 44, and in the story, it said that he fell off a ladder at his home. Notice how the word ladder, in the standard alphabetic order, sums to 44. This happened the same day that the Major League Baseball strike ended. And the word strike also has this value of 44. To get that value, we use the reverse alphabetic order with the Pythagorean method. 44 is a number connected to shooting and gunfire, also the word kill. As you see here, shooting equals 44. And this is connected to the 2019 shooting of David Ortiz. Now, as I mentioned in my original post on Ortiz, he was shot 162 days before his 44th birthday. And that's a very important number, 162. Consider how the end of yesterday's baseball strike, or the strike that ended yesterday, it's now been confirmed that the season will have a full 162-game schedule. In the alphabetic order, Major League Baseball sums to 162. In reverse, the word baseball even equals 162. And in Sumerian, MLB has that 162 value. Well, Odalis Perez was born on June 11th, which is the 162nd day of the year. And now he's gone on to die at age 44. 
the same numbers we talked about in that Ortiz story. But to really understand the true numerology of this, we need to dig into this pi, or circle riddle, which is so significant. We begin with the mayor of Santo Domingo, who's named Carolina Mejia. And if you measure from her most recent birthday, March 28th, to the date that Odalis Perez died, you get 347 days. And the number 347 is significant as this is a prime number. 347 is the 69th prime number, and this is a very, very important number to this whole story. Consider how Mejia was born in the year 69, right? The phrase labor stoppage equals 69. When David Ortiz was shot, it was back on the date June 9th of 2019. That date is written 6 slash 9. Yesterday, the date that Odalis Perez died, was the 69th day of the year. And the number 69 is significant to pi and circles, as it's the value of pi in Jewish gematria. The word circles and the word eclipse also have this 69 value in the alphabetic order. Yesterday was also six months and nine days after Odalis Perez made his Major League debut, the anniversary of that date, September 1st. But perhaps the most three obvious numbers associated with pi is 3.14. 3.14, the first three digits of pi. In the alphabetic order, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic sums to 314. Also notice the reduction value of 143, which of course are the same digits, 314. In the ancient Hebrew language, the word for circle equals 143. David Ortiz's full name, with this accented E omitted, sums to 143, and Odalis Perez died 143 weeks after David Ortiz was shot. Also notice how the word Caribbean, which we looked at earlier, also summing to 143. In Sumerian gematria, Caribbean equals 330. And this is an important cipher where the alphabetic order is multiplied by 6, a number connected with time, which gematria ties into when we look at the calendar. Notice how the word eclipse and circles both have this 33 gematria. Perez's full name had matching gematria with the ordinal value of 33, 156. Meanwhile, David Ortiz has birth numerology of 33. And if you measure from Ortiz's last birthday to the death of Perez, it's exactly three months and three weeks. Furthermore, he died 33 months after Ortiz was shot. One more thing I just realized is that this mayor of Santo Domingo, whose birthday we measured to, notice how she was born on the 28th of March, which is the date written 28-3 down in the Dominican Republic. And Odalis Perez, his full name equals 283. Notice how 283 is a prime number, the 61st. And that's the value of David Ortiz, also in reverse. On top of this, Perez's full name sums to 1698. And this is also the Jewish value of Society of Jesus, and a number that I think is connected to pi, as pi equals 16, and 3.14 equals 98. For the next part of this video, I want to explain how this man's death is connected to this eclipse code. Now, back on February 28th, almost two weeks ago, I made a post explaining how Major League Baseball's strike this year is a big eclipse code. And the last strike was in 1994, which is similar to the value of total solar eclipse in English. 
which equals 994. Remember, it was the 1994 season that got canceled. In that same method, the word eclipse equals 222. And here in 2022, this is the first time we've had a work stoppage since then. In fact, the last MLB strike began two months and 22 days before that year's total solar eclipse. And just think about it. During an eclipse, the sun vanishes from the sky, right? Sun equals 54. And now we're talking about MLB. MLB equals 54. So does baseball. 54, the number of outs in a game. The collective bargaining agreement that expired, actually the last day that it was in effect was December 1st, a date with 54 numerology. That's the same numerology as when the Braves won the last World Series. But notice how MLB in the alphabetic order sums to 27. Remember last year we had Major League Baseball's Field of Dreams game. And that game was held on the 12th of August, which lines up with Kevin Costner's gematria. He's the man who introduced the game. 1208, like the date, 12th of August. But what's so crazy about this is that the 1994 Major League Baseball strike began on August 12th, the same date, exactly 27 years before that game. So next year, in 2023, we have a very unusual hybrid eclipse. As you'll see, this is the first hybrid eclipse since 2013, so it'll be almost a full decade between hybrid eclipses. And hybrid eclipses are really cool because they either begin or end as a total eclipse and at some point during the path, it'll be an annular eclipse. So the moon has to be just the right perfect distance from the Earth for this type of eclipse to occur. Now, if you measure from Perez's death on March 10th to the date of this eclipse, you get exactly 58 weeks. And the name Odalis Perez has a reduction value of 58. Let's just plug this date in here. It'll be April 20th next year. So an extra reason for some of you guys to celebrate. And yeah, 58 weeks, just like his name. But it's also 13 months and 10 days, representing the number 1310. Odalis Perez's full name in English gematria which is the cipher that uses the current 26-letter alphabetic order, whose numeric structure mimics Hebrew, gematria, and Greek isopsophy. Notice how his full name equals 1310. Now, a lot of these numbers here are found in the sacrifice code. Odalis Perez sums to 130, which is the value of human sacrifice. And think about how he died on March 10th or 310, which has the same digits. Also, David Ortiz's nickname is Poppy, and he's got the 131 and the 130, just like Odalis Perez. On top of this, notice how Perez retired with 73 career victories in MLB. That's the value of sacrifice and ritual sacrifice. His birthday of 611... That's a uh, blood sacrifice date, 611 in Satanic. Now let's talk a little bit more about how the 1994 Major League Baseball strike was coded with the Eclipse Code. You'll see again that there was one total solar eclipse in the year 1994, as there are in most years. And earlier I mentioned how the strike began two months and 22 days before that eclipse like how the word eclipse is 222 and 994. Well, two months and 22 days is also 83 days. Oops, wrong date there. There we go, 83 days. And 83 is another really significant eclipse number. Now, back in September of 2001, we had the 9-11 attacks which occurred 83 days after a total eclipse that fell on the summer solstice that year. So the 83 is significant because 
not only do total eclipse and solar eclipse equal 83 in Hebrew, but you also get the span of 84 days. And in Sumerian, solar eclipse equals 804, and solar eclipse equals 433, which is the 84th prime number. And the strike was also called a lockout. Notice how lockout also shares that 433 value. For years, I've been teaching about one particular four-digit number that I believe is the ultimate eclipse number. This is 1331, which has now become my favorite number. And using Jewish gematria, it's very easy to build a riddle explaining why this is so significant for eclipses. The 1994 MLB strike began on a date with 133 numerology. And as this post explains, the number 133 has gematria of 1331. When you write out 1331 in ordinal, you get a sum of 233, which is the 13th Fibonacci number. We know how significant 13 is. Remember Odalis Perez, his name essentially equals 13. But that 94 MLB strike lasted exactly 233 days. And look at the date it ended. 4-2 of 95, a date with 120 numerology. The word eclipse equals 120, 42, and 95. The first team to win the World Series after the last strike was the Braves, who defeated the Cleveland Indians. And now, before this most recent strike, the Braves were the last team to win the World Series, and the Indians just changed their name to the Guardians. Of course, this past World Series was a very significant eclipse riddle. And I, po I pointed this out a few weeks before the World Series, and then we got an MVP with the name of Jorge Soler. Soler, like solar. The 1994 strike also began on a date with numerology of 114. And this is another major number to Major League Baseball. 114. Major League Baseball equals 1140 in Jewish gematria. In fact, the word baseball has the same digits, 141. If I'm not mistaken, Odalis Perez even died one year and 41 days before next year's hybrid eclipse for another baseball nod. Well, let's look at the two characters who were the most prevalent in this year's MLB strike. First of all, you had Tony Clark who was representing the Players' Union. You also have Rob Manfred, who was representing Major League Baseball and its owners. Well, the name Clark sums to 114 in Jewish gematria. And Rob Manfred was born on a date with primary numerology of 114. Tony Clark's full name has matching gematria with 33 and Jesus. And don't forget, the whole root of this eclipse riddle is the death of Jesus from the New Testament. Three of the four Gospels explaining darkness falling over the skies akin to an eclipse. This year's lockout began on December 2nd, which was 119 days before the scheduled start of the season. 119. Well, look at how the name Tony Clark sums to 119. Furthermore, his full name, Anthony Christopher Clark, also equals 119. Many people believe that Jesus was born on September 11th, which is probably why we had the September 11th ritual on the date we did. And Tony's middle name has the Christ in it. Right, Christopher Clark with the Christ. In Greek isopsophy, total eclipse equals 911. That's the 156th prime number, 33 equals 156. And look at this man's birthday, June 15th, which can be written 
15 slash 6. Again, 911, the 156th prime number. Also, Tony Clark equals 704 in Jewish Gematria, and that's the exact same as total solar eclipse. 704. This represents the number 74, like Jesus, the King, Messiah, cross, gospel, killing, etc. Of course, Tony also equals 74. Tony also equals 590. And if you measure from his birthday in 1972 to the birthday of Rob Manfred, who he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, you get exactly 5,009 days. If you include the end date, you get 5,010 days, like the number 51, which is the reduction value of Rob Manfred, 51. And of course, Manfred matches Jesus also. But notice how in this post I made from February 28th, I talked about how the number 69 was super significant. And certainly it's no coincidence that the strike ended yesterday on a date with numer er, the 69th day of the year, I should say. Not only is it the ordinal value of eclipse and the Jewish value of Jesus Christ, but think about how the Royal Masonic Arch has this number 69, the astrological symbol of cancer at the very top. You have this astrological symbolism with the sun and moon on the side of the arch. When the strike began, Tony Clark was 18,066 days old. That syncs up with ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. And I don't think this is a coincidence. Remember, I did a decode on Jeremy Giambi last month. And on the date that Jeremy died, his brother Jason Giambi, who was the more famous baseball player of the two, he was 18,660 days old. And then Jason Gilbert Giambi matches ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry also. And I strongly believe that that's what's going on here, is that this wasn't a real labor dispute, although there were certainly issues that needed to be handled. The work stoppage, this delay, all of these are numeric riddles put on by Freemasons to give people things to think about, give people things to talk about, and ultimately keep them distracted from world affairs, which are benefiting the secret societies. You know, this war that's going on right now gas prices surging and we're told that we're supposed to accept it and then if we don't that we're pro-war or something i mean it's it's really insanity what's going on right now just checking to see if there was anything else i glossed over here looking back at uh the shooting of david ortiz from 2019 this was on a date with numerology of 54 and 27. And those are more numbers associated with baseball. Again, it was 162 days before his 44th birthday. This post about David Ortiz also goes into the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. And a big number here was 32. Ortiz was shot a span of 32 months exactly after his last Major League game. It was also exactly 32 weeks after the Red Sox won the World Series. Both Boston and Red Sox equals 32. So does Christ. But so does the word circle, 32. All right, I think I covered enough in this video. You guys have enough to ruminate on regarding the Eclipse Code. So I'll leave it there. Thanks to everybody for jumping in. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.